Can you believe this movie came out all the way back in 2005? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down the sisterhood of the Traveling Pants cast, Where Are They Now? But look, I have my own friends. Three best friends, and even though they left me here to rot this summer, I'm not looking for any new ones. For this list, we'll be looking at the actors who appeared in this movie and its 2008 sequel, seeing where their careers have gone since. Hi, Dibby. I just fell off a donkey. Are you okay? <laughs> we haven't fun yet? Number 10, Leonardo Nam. We met Leonardo Nam's character Brian in the first movie, but his role got much bigger in the sequel when he and Tibby entered into a serious relationship. I told him the truth, that I had to see my favorite person in the world. <laughs> oh, and you too. In between the two sisterhood movies, Nam had a role in the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, but his most prominent part came a decade later when he was cast in the HBO hit series Westworld. The bullet grazed his cortical shield. It's not pretty, but he should be functional. He plays Felix Lutz, a technician who repairs damaged hosts. As for Nam's personal life, he's married to Michael Dodge and the two have twin sons. Number 9, Jesse Williams. Making his feature film debut in the sequel, Jesse Williams played Leo, a figure drawing model who Lena becomes infatuated with. Uh, Leo. We're ready whenever you are. Have fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His scenes are some of the most memorable in the movie, for obvious reasons. He popped up in a few other films in the years that followed, most notably the horror satire The Cabin in the Woods. We also wanted to get directions. Yeah, we're looking for, uh, what's it called? Tillerman Road. Do you know if it's this way? Of course, any Grey's Anatomy viewer will quickly identify him as Dr. Jackson Avery, who was first introduced to the show in the sixth season and has remained a fan favorite ever since. Tackle like that, you had to play football. I played a little in college. Safety? And wide receiver, yeah. Offense and defense. Impressive. Number 8. Lucy Hale In The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2, Lucy Hale played Lena's bratty younger sister Effie, who lost the mystical traveling pants and set the plot into motion. Lena, hey, Brian's on his way to pick me up and I can't find my silver hoops. Can I steal yours? Wait, Effie, you're going to Tibby's parents' anniversary party with Brian? Yeah, she said she was over him. Like some of her co-stars, Hale found success on TV in a big way. A couple of years after starring in the film, she landed a role as Aria Montgomery on the popular adaptation of Pretty Little Liars. I'd like to know more about you too. So it goes without saying that I'm hooked on you. It was a career making part for her, which she maintained for seven seasons. I heard the cops to Canada, the police station today. Wait, you don't think she'd ever talk about the Jenna thing? We made a promise. Since the show wrapped, she's returned to the silver screen, appearing in the horror reimagining of Fantasy Island, which came out in 2020. It's so, what's your fantasy? Revenge on a childhood bully. Number seven, Mike Vogel. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. I'm not drinking, but if you don't dance with me, I might have to start. Mike Vogel played another hunky love interest in the original movie, Bridget's older and totally off-limits soccer coach, Eric. Promise me you'll give me a shot. Deal. All right. Since appearing in Traveling Pants, Vogel has had a varied career, acting in both TV and movies. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I, you know, I'm hanging in there. Wow. He had roles in 2010's Blue Valentine, as well as The Help and What's Your Number, both of which came out in 2011. More recently, he starred as Captain Adam Dalton in the series The Brave. Interestingly enough, he also starred alongside former co-star Lucy Hale in Fantasy Island. Number 6, Michael Rady. I don't speak Greek very well. Well, we'll have to work on that, won't we? Kostas is one of the most important characters in the series, and Michael Rady was perfectly cast as the Greek Adonis for the films. Some people show off their beauty because they want the world to see it. Others try to hide their beauty because uh, they want the world to see something else. He plays Lena's primary love interest in the series, which marked his acting debut. 
Since then, he's bounced around between movies and television, though he has never seemed to find a primary role that stuck for long. You win. Let's get married. He has still had some high-profile appearances, though, showing up in an episode of Atypical, as well as a season five episode of Grey's Anatomy. I'm 23 years old. If I don't want to butcher myself, she can't make me. So you'd rather die like mom or grandpa? Outside of acting, he's married with three children. Number five, Jenna Boyd. Wh what are you doing with my stuff? Your mom gave it to me. I told her I was your assistant. Jenna Boyd plays a pivotal role in the first Traveling Pants movie as Bailey, a young girl with leukemia who Tibby befriends. She ends up teaching Tibby so much about what's really important in life. It's more that I'm afraid of time. Not having enough of it. Jenna Boyd continued to act sporadically over the years and also got a business degree from Pepperdine University. She made a big return to the screen in 2017, though, when she was cast as love interest Paige on Atypical, a role which she has held for the show's run. You're a champion of being there for me. I mean, I can't believe that you gave my speech for me today. Who knows what she'll do next? Number four, Amber Tamblin. So you prefer to spend most of your time here at the Quick Mark instead of out in the real world? Well, maybe he finds the world of Dragon Slayer more interesting. Now we've reached the four most important characters in the franchise. Everyone be calm, okay? I'm gonna do the talking. No, no. what? We'll go and Where do the talking. Amber Tamblin played Tibby, the artistic and misanthropic filmmaker who provided a comical dark side as a foil for the other girls. It is a bit of a climb. We clap. And a bit of a squeeze. We squeeze. While she has continued to act, appearing in movies like 127 Hours and the final couple of seasons of Two and a Half Men, she has focused more recently on writing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, did, did you say that you're Charlie's daughter? Yeah. Listen, I got a wicked hangover. You got any aspirin, ibuprofen, rum, scotch, tequila, vodka? Uh, yeah, yeah, come on in. Uh, uh, Henry, uh, get her an aspirin and vodka. In 2018, she published a novel called Any Man, and the following year released a piece of feminist nonfiction titled Era of Ignition. Number three, America Ferreira. While America Ferreira did do some acting before landing the role of Carmen in The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, it was undoubtedly her breakout role. You think that a pair of jeans that fits all three of you is going to fit all of this? In the years since the first film was released, Ferreira has become a successful television actress, starring in two notable shows. I, I work here. <laughs> for? For the new editor-in-chief. First was, of course, Ugly Betty, which won her a primetime Emmy, and more recently she's had the primary role in Superstore. Thank you, Glenn, but I, I do think it also might have something to do with my ideas. Oh, the little panda thinks he thought of something. <laughs> okay, that's a little much. She gave birth to her son Sebastian in 2018, and as of 2020, Ferreira has had two children. Number two, Alexis Bledel. How are your pancakes? Good. Good or really good? Good. So not really good? Thanks to her role as Rory on Gilmore Girls, Alexis Bledel was already a successful actress when she was cast in this franchise. Can't you stay another week? My classes start on Monday, I have to go. She made for the perfect Lena in the Traveling Pants series, and her romance with Costas was a cornerstone of the story. The truth is, we loved each other a long time ago. And my life is so different now. Since filming wrapped on these movies, she returned as Rory for the revival of Gilmore Girls, and also snagged a role in the extremely popular adaptation of Margaret Atwood's book, The Handmaid's Tale. Hey, Speed. We'll go straight home then. May God bless your endeavor and bring forth his miracle. She plays Dr. Emily Malik, who goes by many different names throughout the series. And let's just say it's a much darker role than the others that she's known for. They do that really well make us distrust each other. Eyes. Come on. Just keep walking. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Blake Lively. It's not hard to point to the actress who had the most prominent career post-traveling pants. Well, I think I might have been showing off for you just a little. 
stop it. Just a little bit. Yeah. While this was her breakthrough role, Blake Lively became a true A-lister after being cast as the beautiful boho Upper East Sider Serena Vanderwoodsen on Gossip Girl. Your Venus in the half shell, right? So just look up. Oh. <laughs> Her involvement in that hugely popular series led to a number of film roles, including Green Lantern, A Simple Favor, and The Town. How does it work? They just um call you on your cell, cat in a tree, downtown Milky Way. She's also now well known for her publicly hilarious relationship with her hubby Ryan Reynolds, and the two have three children together. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.